Annie Lister was born on 3 April 1791 in the town of Halifax in the county of West Riding of Yorkshire in England. Anne was the second child and eldest daughter to Jeremy Lister and Rebecca Battle. Jeremy's and Rebecca's first child was called John, who was born and died in the same year in 1789. When Anne was around two years old the family moved to an estate called Skelfler House in the town of Market Wyton. Rebecca Lister nay Battle would give birth to seven children, four sons and three daughters. Only Anne and her younger sister, Marion, who was born on 13 October 1798 would survive to be adults. In 1798, when she was seven years old, Anne attended a school in Agnesgate, rip and run by two women, Mrs. Haggess and Mrs. Chettle. From the age of ten, Anne was then educated by the vicar of Market Wayton, the Reverend George Skelding at home, when she developed an interest in classical literature. From the age of thirteen in 1804, Anne attended the Manor House School in York. It was during her time at the Manor House School, Anne would meet her first love, Eliza Rain, both of whom shared a bedroom at the Manor House School. Eliza's father was a surgeon with the East India Company in Madras, she was also illegitimate and half Indian. Eliza was brought to Yorkshire after her father's death in order to inherit a vast sum of money. For some unknown reason in 1806, Anne was asked to leave the Manor House School. After leaving the Manor House School, Anne started affairs with other women including Isabella Norcliffe and Mariana Belcom causing Eliza so much anguish that she ended up as a patient at the Clifton House Aislam run by the father of Mariana Belcom. Mariana was uncomfortable to be seen in public due to Anne's masculine appearance and for dressing in black which was only reserved for men at that time. Mariana and Anne were lovers for about 20 years, which included when Mariana was married. On the death of her uncle in 1826, Anne inherited the Shibden estate. Anne did not gain full control of the estate until after the deaths of both her father and her aunt in 1836. But even part of the income that she received before then allowed her some measure of freedom. Anne's financial portfolio included shared in canals, railways, mining and quarrying plus a large number of properties in town and agricultural tenancy. The portfolio enabled her renovate Shibden Hall and for her passion of travel in Europe. Anne always remained faithful to the Anglican religion and was also a committed Tory, interested in defending the privileges of the land-owning aristocracy. In the early 1830s, Anne started a relationship with a wealthy heiress, Anne Walker. On Easter Sunday, 30th of March 1834, both Anne and Anne took communion together at the Holy Trinity Church, Goodramgate, York. Through this act they considered themselves married, but without legal recognition. The Holy Trinity Church is now considered as an icon for what is interpreted as the site of the first lesbian marriage to be held in Britain, which now displays a commemorative blue plaque in recognition of the event. Anne Walker's inheritance was used to renovate Shibden Hall and the estate, including the addition of a waterfall and a lake. In 1838, a Gothic tower was added to Shibden Hall. They both lived together in residence at Shibden Hall until Anne's death in 1840. Travel was one of Anne Lister's greatest passions, although her first trip to continental Europe was until she was 28 years old in 1819. This may be due to the Napoleonic Wars and the aftermath whilst Europe settled down to become a safer place to travel to. Her maiden trip to Europe was with her aunt, who was also called Anne Lister for a two-month excursion to France. 
It was not for another five years before Anne would return to France, when she decided to stay in Paris until 1825 at the age of 33. She returned yet again to Paris, this time with her Aunt Anne, in 1826 where she continued an affair with a widow she had met on her previous journey called Maria Barlow. The next year in 1827 she returned to Paris, and together with her Aunt Anne and Maria Barlow started a one-year tour of northern Italy and Switzerland. The following year it's believed that she took a long tour of Scotland with Isabella Maclean. In 1829, Anne once again headed to France and made Paris her base for an expedition through Belgium and Germany. After visiting these northern countries she travelled down to Spain, where whilst hiking through the Pyrenees she proved her physical fitness by scaling the third highest mountain in the region, Monte Perdido at a height of over 3,000 metres. It's believed that between 1826 to 1832, that Anne found life so unbearable living with her father and sister at Shibden Hall that she found any reason to escape to travel around Europe to avoid them. Her next trip would see her travel with her lover, Marianna Lawton for a short holiday in the Netherlands in 1831. From 1834 Anne would travel to Europe with Anne Walker, and they would honeymoon in 1834 in France and Switzerland. At the age of 47, Anne still wanted to prove her physical fitness and would once again return to the Pyrenees with Anne Walker to scale the highest peak. Vunimel which stood in the French area at a height of nearly 3,300 metres. This is believed to be the first recorded ascent of Vunimel which took around 10 hours to scale and another 7 hours for the descent. In June 1839, Anne left Shibden Hall with Anne Walker along with two servants. The journey would take them through France to Denmark crossing over into Sweden and then on to Russia. Their journey in Russia began in September 1839 in St. Petersburg and they would eventually arrive in Moscow in October of the same year. Their journey in Russia began in September 1839 in St. Petersburg and they would eventually arrive in Moscow in October of the same year. This hour of Europe was rarely travelled to by Western Europeans, Western European women of Enmore and the pair would need military protection at times due to peasant hostilities against the ruling Tsars. Anne's journey to the Caucasus would be her last. Anne passed away in the city of Kutaisi in Georgia after suffering from a fever with Anne Walker by her side. Her body was returned to England by Anne Walker and she was buried on 29 April 1841. Anne would leave her estate to her paternal cousins of which Anne Walker was given an interest in for life. <laughs>